Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by River City Graphics. Today I'll be showing you how to create seamlessly tiling patterns out of complex images. So to get started we're going to open up Photoshop and here you can see I have a granite texture and so what we're going to be doing today is basically if we took this granite texture and copied and pasted it on all sides so basically on the X and Y um, currently it would have um, seams in between it. You'd be able to tell that that's what we did um, because the pixels on this side would not match up with the pixels on this side and also on the top and bottom. So let me give you um, an example to show you um, exactly what I'm talking about. So I'm basically just going to create a new layer and then I'm just going to click back onto my granite layer and with my marquee tool I'm just going to select the texture, go to edit and then down to define pattern and I'm just going to call this texture before and click OK. And so now basically we've created um, a pattern out of that. And so I'm just going to turn off that layer, go to my um, blank layer, hit Alt Delete with white as my foreground color to fill that because you have to um, have something on the layer, so a solid color um, if you're going to be adding a pattern. So I'm just going to go down at the bottom of the layer at the bottom of my layers palette and go to the little FX button, go down to pattern overlay and then we're going to select the pattern from the little drop down and I'm just going to select it right here and so this is obviously um, still a solid piece so I'm just going to hit the scale down and click OK and so now if I zoom in you can see exactly what's happening here um, you can see that there's lines within that and it's even more evident right here you can see exactly where the pattern is and where it starts and ends so what we're going to be trying to do is to get rid of that so I'm just going to take and delete this layer and go back to our original and the way that we're going to start by doing that is by going up to filter and then down to other and then up to offset so now what offset does is it basically let me just set these back to zero it basically takes and when you move this horizontal higher it will take and move basically um, your entire image to the right but then it'll start coming back in from the left so basically it'll make sure that the pixels on the right match the pixels on the left. So what we're trying to do is, it's probably hard to see right here, it's a little hard for me to see and I'm not even watching it on YouTube, um, is we're looking for um, a crosshair and it'll be easier um, when you're actually doing this to see it and so I'm just going to click OK here, I can see it right here, um, we're looking for this like seam line and so I'm just going to click OK and then I can zoom in so you can see it better. So you can see now um, there's obviously four different like quadrants here and so what we're doing um, is basically we need to get rid of that seam because right now this right here will match up with this over here. So we've created our seamless pattern the only problem is now we have these lines in the middle. So what we need to do is get rid of those and you can do that in a couple of ways. So you can either use like a clone stamp tool, you can use um, you can use the spot healing brush or um, you can use what we're going to use today which is the patch tool and so basically the way the patch tool works is you can either select a source which would be in our case the line and you can take and move it onto something else or you can select a destination which would be like basically the reverse we'd select something and then we drag it onto what we wanted to replace so what we're trying to do is just basically get rid of the lines and the way that it does this is it basically tries to match the texture of what we're um, basically replacing it with so it kind of blends it in really nice um, if you were doing something like um, the clone stamp tool it, it looks for like an exact um, it, it would basically replace it with something exact so you wouldn't get the nice blending effect that the patch tool would give you so that's why we chose to use that so I'm just going to keep working on these lines All right almost done here get that and so what we're also looking for um, while we're doing this is things like this black over here you see let me zoom in on that you can see this black area now this isn't really a problem for our tiling um, but it is a problem for um, viewing it basically if you have something like that black spot that might draw attention to itself um, and you start tiling your pattern it might give the effect that you're actually doing a pattern um, and what we're trying to do is hide that so by removing little things that would give away your pattern um, as being tiled like if you see a bunch of black dots you're kinda gonna know that something's happening there um, so what you're trying to do is just make it as inconspicuous as possible. So I think we've done a pretty good job. Um, you might want to touch yours up a little more, but just for the purposes of time, um, you get the idea. We're just trying to get rid of the lines. 
So once you have that done, um, what we're going to do is I'm just going to take and scale this down so that we can tile it a little bit better. And once I do that, again, you create your pattern by taking and grabbing your marquee tool um, or I guess any other selection method. And I'm just going to zoom in a little bit here so I can get an exact. So you want to be pretty darn close on this. You don't want to grab any extra pixels, otherwise it'll mess up your pattern. So you want to see... Um, I'm off just a tiny bit there, um, but for the purposes of this tutorial it should work, but ideally you'd want those other pixels. So what I'm going to do is then go up to edit and then down to define pattern and we'll call it texture after. Hit OK. Alright, so then what I'm going to do is again create another layer, turn off the first layer, go up to my new layer, fill it with white by hitting alt delete with white as the foreground, go to FX, down to pattern overlay, and then I'm going to select this new pattern. And you can see it's at 100% and we made it smaller so we know that it's tiling. And so I'm just going to click OK. And you can see there's no seams. It looks like a solid piece of granite all over the place. So um, this is pretty handy. You can use this for not only um, Photoshop documents like um, if you wanted to make a background, it would be much quicker to do this than to take and just... Um, paste them out over and over and over so using patterns um, and especially if they tile it's much easier and you can also use it for web design uh, say that you wanted to do like a um, background for your website um, you could use this in order to tile your background to keep your image size small and you could just repeat it with your CSS and everything so um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to subscribe rate and comment and I'll see you next week with a new video tutorial thanks for watching